the Digi Podcast, Digital Trends in Supply Chain Management. Hello and welcome to our Digi Podcast. I'm Thomas Holzner from the Siemens Digi Network with the Digi Podcast, a podcast on digital and innovative topics for procurement in the future. Sina told me that last year, password was still the most used password globally. Did I catch somebody or is it 1234? My guest today can only smile really at that. After several years, we finally make it. Alexander Schatz is our cybersecurity business partner at Purchasing. And we have since several years a very intensive contact. And this contact is only positive because I learned that cybersecurity, if you make it professional, is easy. So, Alex, thanks that you can take the time and give us an insight into security in the digital space and what it actually means. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Thomas, for that invitation, which I waited so long for. So my pleasure to be here today. Cybersecurity is the other side of digitalization. And so I think it's more than fair to be here today in the Digi Podcast. As I just mentioned, I had some several contacts with uh, Alex and cybersecurity may be uh, new software or might also be uh, when we integrate partners. What is cybersecurity in general actually all about? Yeah, ultimately, the aim is to prevent serious damage to Siemens from hacker attacks. This is what we want to avoid, and this is why we are here, to protect Siemens. And to do this, important to know is what you need to protect and how you best need to protect it. And then to detect the attacks as early as possible, defend against them, and if necessary, minimize then the damage if an impact was successful. So the impact is an attack. And what's then your job exactly? So my daily job is mainly to be the first point of contact for all the relevant topics in regards to cybersecurity for the purchasing department. And together with my team, we take care of all those inquiries on this topic. And uh, in the event of incidents, also our third team, our computer emergency response team help us here. We also drive strategic issues and work closely with the purchasing department on those. One example is, for instance, the implementation and continuous improvement of cybersecurity of suppliers so within the supply chain, and uh, that's a continuous effort we're driving. So what and how can we imagine your day-to-day -day business? Yeah, every day is different. However, it mainly it's consists full of meetings internally as well as externally. This can be, for instance, we're explaining the suppliers our technical requirements we might have, or we uh, determine the criticality of a new application or process issues. Yeah, and then it can also happen uh, that you get a call from uh, one of the purchasing colleagues that are telling us, hey, Alex, we now have an incident with a supplier. They just called us. They're not sure what it is all about, but uh, it might have had happened that cybersecurity or Siemens data has been stolen and there was a cybersecurity attack. And then the whole day that you planned is completely thrown out of order and you need to plan accordingly. And now starts the interesting part. Are you allowed to share some, say, incident that you had to solve or to get to a solution? Yeah, sure. So we have, as I mentioned, mainly when I get contact from the purchasing department, these are incidents of suppliers. And uh, this happens mainly or very often also in, in the area of travel and event management uh, industry. And the reason, therefore, is that uh, they are storing a lot of personal related data of many, many employees worldwide. And so they are directly a good target for attackers. And so we had, for instance, incidents at Marriott, at EasyJet and several other providers in the travel industry where we don't directly are the root cause for that incident, but where we are impacted as Siemens. So a lot of work for something that's not really visible. From my point of view, but not only from my point of view, that's quite significant for, for supply chain. So... What would then be a typical use case out of an incident during your daily life? Yeah, so besides of the, the incident topics that are just uh, shown, I think one of the major topics where, yeah, where cybersecurity gets also very relevant for SCM is in the context of AI and data management. Um, SCM is also using a lot of data for data analytics and for improving the whole process landscape and more or getting more automation into it and and here the new technology about generative ai opens a lot of additional possibilities and of course also some yeah risks behind before we 
went into this recording, we had a the typical small coffee chat, and you told us that quite soon there will be a, within the data to value community a special regarding chat GBT and the impact on procurement, and there will be a special about cybersecurity. From your point of view, how does artificial intelligence and cybersecurity work together? Or is this a hindering issue? Or what's your view on this? I think generative AI is really a game changer. And it is full of opportunities also for cybersecurity, first of all. And if you have listened to yesterday, maybe the cybersecurity conference, uh, then you have exactly heard that also from other experts that are seeing here a big opportunity for cybersecurity. And the reason, therefore, is that with this technology, we have the possibility to sooner detect vulnerabilities and attackers and then are faster to react And this real-time reaction on those attacks, this is really a big opportunity that, that I'm seeing here for cybersecurity. Nevertheless, of course, it's also a technology which can use by attackers. And it also has its limitations, of course. Um, and, and these are things that we need to be careful about, that we need to understand, and that we need, nevertheless, to manage. Because, as I mentioned, the opportunities are there. And I think we need to yeah, make use out of them and uh, generate impact. Thanks for this open answer. It's again now uh, something I could experience with Alex. When I asked this question, he started with the positive topic. Artificial intelligence as a chance to increase the relevance and the performance of cybersecurity. And then the risk. And I think this mindset is definitely outstanding. So we're coming to my favorite, last but not least question. Who is Alex? <laughs> Yeah, besides cybersecurity, people and the environment are important to me. So that's why I'm also very committed uh, to sustainability and try here also to make my own personal small contribution and this as well from the, on the business side as well as on the private side. And that's why also I'm very pleased about the priority given to the topic at Siemens and the, also the concrete successes that SCM has achieved in that area. And from my point of view, you're definitely a part of the success because for me cybersecurity is nothing special it's the normal and it's an easy to be integrated module in our business especially in the digi network alex is the guy who provides us for example with a checklist and this checklist is not five kilometers long it's a easy nice to handle checklist and i think with this approach cybersecurity is an easy thing for also other companies maybe we follow up on this on a later stage Maybe on a diggy sofa. And then maybe, and I'm coming to an end, this was now the first episode where we had an incident, more an accident, during the recording. And if you're curious, you can write an email or comment on the post. So thanks to Alex. Thanks to Sina. To all our listeners, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Digi Podcast. If you have questions or you want to find out more about the Digi Network, reach out to our internet page, siemens.com slash Digi Network. I'm looking forward to having you as a listener at our next episode. Yours, Thomas Holzner. The Digi Podcast. Digital Trends in Supply Chain Management. 